Inside ICCU Arena, three straight W's, looking for that fourth straight W as Portland State wins the tip. Meanwhile, the Vikings have been rolling as well, winning seven of their last nine games, and a lot of that success comes from the starting five you see right here, and especially from the defending Big Sky Player of the Week in Khalid Thomas, who can't drive it inside, and Idaho goes the other way. Really, in both starting lineups, you'll see a plethora of players who are coming off career highs, including the guy with the ball who just handed it off a second ago, Javante Anderson, with those 32 points against Northern Colorado as Tanner Christensen is going to get called for the travel. Interesting play there. Obviously, Christensen's going to have uh, the size mismatch going down low, so the Vandals are going to want to look to him there, but got his steps moving there. Christensen has been playing extremely well as of late. 13 points and six boards as now we'll get an offensive foul on Portland State. Finish that thought on Christensen over the last six games has been averaging 13 and six. Yeah, another situation with the feet moving on that side this time for an offensive foul for the Vikings. And here's the big thing turnover wise. Portland State extremely good at forcing turnovers this season. You look at their stats. I mean, they are impressive. 12th in the nation in turnover margin at plus 4.4. 10th in the nation in steals per, per game at 9.3. And it's really been their M.O. over the last couple of seasons. It's nothing new for the Portland State squad. Oh, it's what they love to do, and it's really what sets up that offense, gets them out in transition, allows them to make plays on the other end. We saw them also almost force a turnover. Rashad Smith, who also matched his career high with 22 in the loss to Northern Colorado as Portland State goes the other way into the hands of Ian Burke. Ezekiel Alley trying to get past Mikey Dixon, drives in and can't get the bounce off the back tap. And it's going to go back to Idaho as both teams still looking for their first points of the night. Yeah, tough go uh, for either side offensively, couple turnovers. Uh, Vandals looking to get that first shot up here a couple minutes in. Again, offensively, it hasn't really been a struggle for most of the season for Idaho. We know they can really put up the points and especially knock it down from three-point range and still looking for that First point, as we mentioned just a second ago. Anderson getting the screen from Christensen. Drives baseline, the kick out. Mikey Dixon, shot clock under 10. Salih, the lob down low. And Portland State forcing another Idaho turnover. Out on the run, here's Burke. Squire, wide open lane to the rack. Like we talked about before, exactly what Portland State is trying to do. Force that turnover. Send it up nice and quick and get that easy look at the basket. Yeah, that was one thing Zach Kloss told, told me earlier today when we chatted is you can't turn the ball over because we know Portland State is going to get out and really push the basketball as Christensen gets called for another walk. Yes. Already three turnovers. Second time he's called for the travel down there. you got to figure the officials are looking for that, uh, something that maybe they noticed uh, before the game today. Here's Squire trying to attack the lane again, and he'll get called for a travel. Well, a sloppy start offensively for both these squads here in the first couple minutes of this one. And another turnover this time. Michael Carter, the third, takes off, and he'll get two at the line as Rashad Smith thought he had a clean block on the chase down. Yeah, I'd like to see another look at that one. He looked like he trailed that play perfectly to go up and contest. Uh, and here we go. Again, Portland State doing what they do best. And you know, hard to see there whether he got contact or not, but Michael Carter, the third at the line, and Again, like we mentioned a second ago, Portland State's offense, they have been clicking since going to a small guard lineup. Coincidentally, as I talk about how strong they are offensively, and he misses a free throw. But, and that kind of started after their first meeting with Idaho down in the Rose City back in January. They decided to go with that small guard lineup, and the offense has just been clicking as of late. 12 different starting lineups, and right now they have been rolling offensively, averaging like we mentioned a second ago, 82 points per game over the last 11 contests, this Viking squad. Yeah, a ton of wins in there, really helped them rise up the Big Sky standings and uh, put themselves in contention for almost getting a bye in the tournament. Trying to get that sixth seed next week in Boise. And again, these final two regular season games, big for both these squads. If 
there's a chance that these two squads could meet up again in less than a week in Boise if things work out. Not work out, I should say, if, if a bunch of things happen. <laughs> That's what makes this season so exciting. Obviously, a couple games right now, and obviously for the Vandals going uh, hosting Northern Arizona later, that's another team that they might get to see in Boise in the opening round. Three minutes into this game, and Idaho still looking for their first points of the night. Here's Mikey Dixon. He drives. He tried to go high off the window, and Khalid Thomas skies for that rebound. Not only looking for their first points, that's their first shot attempt so far tonight. Thomas way off on that pull-up. Devontae Anderson up ahead to Christensen. Boy, Portland State has continued to limit those entry passes down low to Christensen early on. Yeah, really focusing on him. Obviously, like we mentioned before, a little bit of a mismatch down there, but they've been doing a great job. Ezekiel Alley knocks down that triple. And a 6-0 Portland State start. And also a couple players between these two squads who have won Big Sky Conference Player of the Week honors over the last month or so. You have Rashad Smith and obviously Khalid Thomas won the honor. Ezekiel Alley also won it a couple weeks ago as he gets the steal right here. Alley drives baseline and goes right to the window. For Idaho State uh, to really help this Portland State team continue to excel. Yeah, that huge highlight jam over Daxton Carr in overtime to give the Vikings the lead. Again, Idaho struggling offensively. They've only gotten up one shot so far, 0 for 1, and Portland State forces another turnover, number 8 on Idaho. Alley, the trailer. Offensive rebound by Iman, who just checked in for the first time tonight, and that one way off. There's Jameel King, who checks in for the first time tonight for Idaho. It's Ethan Kilgore who also comes in for the Vandals. Christensen knives through the defense, count it, and one. As Travante Anderson coming off that career best, 32 points, gets the Vandals finally on the board. Yeah, it's good to see for the Vandals uh, driving to the paint there, not trying to force anything in onto the inside to Christensen like they had earlier tonight. And yeah, just a great move from Anderson getting in there, taking the contact, getting the finish. And we've known the impact that Travante Anderson has had this entire season. Obviously, it was a tremendous gift from San Francisco, but especially as of late, averaging just under 18 points per game over the last 10 games. And you look at him, not just a scorer, we've seen it the entire season, can rebound extremely well for a point guard and can dish it out as well. He gives you that one-two punch with, with Mikey Dixon as well, where either of them can start going, start getting hot at any given time, and they really play off of each other with those assists to help get the guys going. Correction on that last time. So the foul instead will go on Michael Carter the third. So Javante Anderson at the line to try to complete that three-point play. Shooting 71% from the stripe this season. So almost five minutes into this game, Idaho finally on the board. Here's Damian Squire, the kick out to Ian Burke, who had a pretty good month a couple weeks ago, but struggling to get going as of late as Marlon Ruffin. Draws the contact, and he'll get free throws. Yeah, very patient there down low. Uh, got the pump fake up there, drew the contact. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get the finish. Marlon Ruffin started the season as a starter for Portland State, but recently has come off the bench and has been a huge, huge addition for Portland State, the former Summit League sixth man of the year. As he misses the first free throw. Yeah, really diving through this roster, Portland State did an excellent job of hitting that transfer market this offseason and bringing in some high-quality D1 transfers to, to both of this program. You really see it from both programs, really. You see another one of those transfers, Mikey Dixon, coming on the floor, back on the floor for Idaho. Portland State still going to that press, and they almost forced another Idaho turnover, and Jameel King able to track it down. Anderson gets into the paint, and the putback jam, Philip Peppel. And that's what Peppel's great at. He's so explosive, uh, just goes up and gets it, and exceptional finish there from Peppel. 
And that got the crowd going here at ICC Arena a little bit as Portland State able to answer on the other end. This is where things get interesting for the Vandals. As that press continues to develop, they're going to get some looks in transition. Uh, unfortunately there, they slowed it up and get the turnover. Turnover number nine on the Vandals. Here's Michael Starks, the Georgia transfer coming in for Portland State. And Rashad Smith will check back into the game for Idaho. Alley thought about the triple instead. He'll try to drive inside. And the scoop is good by Alley, who's leading the way for the Vikes so far with seven. Yeah, nice aggressive drive right there. Uh, taking advantage of the defense switch and getting to the cup. Actually, now his ninth point, so a strong start by Ezekiel Alley. Jameel King, ball away jump shot. That one too strong. And Ian Burke coming down with the rebound, and the Vikings pushing once again. Finds the trailing. Starts goes in for two. I really like, really like that effort from Burke there. Uh, not a turnover, but saw the opportunity to get up and get going and, and do what we said Portland State does well. A 10-point Portland State lead. Here's Mikey Dixon. Still looking for his first points of the night. That one too strong off the glass. Offensive rebound into the hands of Rashad Smith as Idaho will reset the offense with the timer under 10. King getting the screen from Pebble. The lob down low to the big man. And that's going to be another Idaho turnover. Already the Vandals in double-digit turnovers. And you see Portland State capitalizing 10 points off of those 10 turnovers. You know, we talked pregame about the Vandals needing to limit those turnovers. Obviously, rough start here tonight, but they need to settle down and lock in. Again, 10th in the nation in steals per game is this Portland State squad. Idaho looking for any sort of offensive flow right now. Here's Rashad Smith off the pump fake. Had it stripped with a foul. That'll be the first on Starks. And again, turnovers have been a problem for this Idaho squad. Under 14 per game, second in the big sky. It, it's definitely hurt them at times this season. Yes, because as we mentioned before, too, their defense uh, also near the bottom of the big sky in a lot of categories, so uh, they need to allow that defense to get set to be successful. Rashad Smith from downtown, and you talk about hot shooting. The last couple of games Rashad Smith has had, I mean, my goodness, 79% from three, 15 of 19 coming into this game. Now 16 of his last 20, he, he's just unconscious from downtown over the last few games. I really like the way he's developed over this season, too. Early in the year, you might have seen him take a couple of shots, a little imbalanced, maybe forcing some things. But as you mentioned, over these last couple of weeks, he's really just taken good shots, allowed his teammates to get him open, and they've been falling at an incredibly high rate. Again, coming off that 22-point performance in that loss at Northern Colorado last weekend, off the inbound, blocked from behind, and Idaho running the other way. Back into the hands of Rashad Smith, guarded tightly by Michael Starks. And a foul on Starks. So two quick fouls on the Georgia transfer. You saw Starks as well, some of the Portland State bench thinking they forced another Idaho turnover, but instead it'll be team foul number four on Portland State. As you mentioned, there are two on Starks as well, but with such a deep bench that Portland State has been using, I'm not sure how important that's going to be all night. We mentioned it a second ago, Rashad Smith once again from three-point land. Feeling comfortable, right? 16 of 20, 17 for 21 now. Just let it fly, young man. My goodness, what a hot offensive rhythm that he has been. But Portland State answers on the other end. Marlon Ruffin on the nice feed from Khalid Thomas. Vandals need to turn this good offense that they've been getting over the last couple of minutes into some good defense as well. Uh, just a lackluster play there allowing that cut. Off those two threes, Rashad Smith now leading the way for Idaho right now with six points. Seven on the shot clock, and 
Anderson's pocket got picked by Starks, going all the way, hangs, and Khalid Thomas there for the putback jam. Again, the defense here have already forced 11 Idaho turnovers, and we're not, not even halfway through this first half. And again, Portland State has really taken advantage with 12 off of those turnovers. We'll get a goaltending. So now a six-point game. And again, Anderson's been finding a lot of success here, just getting into the paint and getting his shot that way. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more of it, that out of him moving forward. Marlon Ruffin. Jab step, takes it inside, and Marlon Ruffin has had a good start here in this game. Now with five points in this one. And that's what Portland State does extremely well, get into the paint. They're not a strong three-point shooting team, unlike Idaho, and that's been their bread and butter, getting inside. And you see right there, 16 of their 21 points have come from inside the paint. Yeah, and a lot of that obviously in transition as they've been getting up and getting going and getting those easy layups. Shooting just under 30% from three-point land this season. Portland State dead last in the Big Sky Conference. Anderson getting the screen. Gets a wide open lane and takes advantage. And then we'll get a whistle. It looks like it's going to be a foul on Salih. Yeah, I'm not sure I saw anything there, but must have caught him moving up in the transition game there. Here's Ezekiel Alley right now leading the way with nine points for Portland State. Damian Squire, UC Davis transfer, trying to battle, throws it up, and can't get it off the heel, falls into the hands of Travante Anderson. I like when Anderson goes to the rim to get those rebounds, allows him to get moving up quickly going the other way. And Salim knocks down that corner triple. And it's down to a three-point game. And after a slow start where Idaho basically couldn't get a shot, they're now 7 of 11 from the floor. Yeah, once they, once they were able to get some shots up, they started falling pretty much right away. There's Khalid Thomas, shot clock under 10. He'll fire for three, and that's exactly what Khalid Thomas can do. We've seen him with that putback jam down low, can get it done in the paint, but can knock it down from downtown as well. And as much as he's giving up size on the defensive end, he's able to pull Christensen out. And then as we've seen now, he's able to knock down that three to keep Christensen honest. Keep Christensen honest. And we're going to get another offensive foul on Idaho. First foul on Tanner Christensen. And Michael Carter the third will come back in for Portland State. Yeah, Christensen's got to be careful. Foul trouble is always going to be concerned with him. He's in the top couple in the country in terms of fouls most of the time. Squire from way downtown. That one's short. Clanks off the iron. And Dixon out and running. The crossover takes the contact, leaves that one short. Christensen battling for the offensive board. And an extra possession here for the Vandals. They lob it down low to the big man. That one too strong. And fight for the rebound as looks like we're going to get foul on Portland State. on Damian Squire. And that's going to be the sixth team foul on Portland State. Phillip Pebble Jr. will check back in for the Vandals, and Michael Starks will come back in for the Vikings. Pebble gave the Vandals a couple good minutes earlier in his first, uh, first stint on the court tonight. Smith for three. And Pebble tried to get that offensive rebound, and he's going to get called, I believe, for over the back. Just a little overzealous there for Pebble. A little too aggressive going for this one. Now that's going to be Idaho's 16th foul. And I was going to say, if Rashad Smith knocked down already his third three of the night, this crowd was going to explode. 
Carter the third again slashing into the paint. Back out to Starks. And can't get the friendly bounce. Balls into the hands of Mikey Dixon. And Dixon's still looking to get going tonight. 0 for 3 so far from the floor for Idaho's leading score. Right now we're averaging just under 17 points per game, the fifth leading score in the conference. Anderson, he's had some success taking it inside, and Khalid Thomas thought he had a block, but he'll get called for the foul. You know, what I really like about Dixon's game is he's comfortable with not scoring early. He's comfortable with allowing his guys to get going, and then when he needs to take over, he knows when that's going to come up. Uh, he's ready to do it then. Yeah, that was one big thing Zach Kloss told me earlier today is, you know, you look at all the stops that Mikey Dixon has been on, and obviously going to an NCAA tournament, and he raves so much about his unselfishness. He wants this group to succeed. It's not all about him. Yeah, he's, he could be a great scorer as he checks out right now for Idaho, but you look at his demeanor, he wants everybody, like you said, to do well. And as, as, uh, as Smith has been hitting those threes at that remarkable clip and Anderson getting to the basket and getting his finishes, might as well let those, go, let those guys fly. And so far it has been the Trevante Anderson, Rashad Smith show. Eight points for Anderson now leading the way for Idaho. Six for Rashad Smith. Four-point game, over eight to play. Ian Burke from downtown. Anderson dancing with Starks. The other way, allowed him to build this four-point advantage here uh, midway through the first. Jamil King, Rashad Smith, thought about the step-back triple. Right now two of three from downtown for Smith. Here's Anderson, who's had a hot start so far leading the way. Shot clock at five. Anderson against Iman. Dances around the big man, fires for three, and that one off the front iron, knocked out of bounds. Off of Ian Burke, it's going to be Idaho basketball with a fresh 20. I like that effort there from Peppel as well. Uh, didn't go over the back like he did before. Just stuck with it and uh, able to force it off the hands of uh, Burke there. Salih off the inbounds. Knocks it down from downtown. Salih with a hot start from three-point land. That's his second of the night. And that three ball is going to be what keeps the Vandals in this one here tonight, making it a one-point game. Again, second in the big sky, 38% from downtown, and Phillip Pebble corrals the rebound, and Idaho could take their first lead of the night. Up ahead, Smith! Oh, he had a breakaway jam, but blew it as the crowd was about to explode here inside ICCU Arena. The Vikings go the other way. Iman on the block, the hook shot, doesn't get the roll. Anderson takes into the paint once again, kick out. King tries to go baseline, and that's going to be the 14th turnover on Idaho as Jameel King was arguing that he was bumped. Yeah, 14 turnovers here, 13 and a half minutes in. Uh, Indles well on their way to their season high of, of 20. And here's the big thing. They're already at their season average. They cough up the basketball under 14 times per game. As we get an offensive foul and go the other way, that one charged to Michael Carter the third. So Lee doing a great job of getting in there, as we're going to see on the replay here. Gets his feet set, gets up nice and straight, draws that offensive charge. But here's the big thing. There was a little bit of optimism in going back to that turnover discussion for Idaho because they kept – Turnovers under double digits in three of the last four games coming into tonight. So there's a little bit of hope there. But like we mentioned, already 14 turnovers for Idaho against the Portland State squad, who is very good at that. As Anderson, with the hesitation move, takes it right inside in Idaho with their first lead of the night. Marlon Ruffin trying to answer and gets that one to go. Marlon Ruffin with a strong start tonight. He's now got seven.
Sali, the dump off. Pebble scrapes the ceiling and throws down another big jam. An absolute monster slam and then flexes toward the student section. Make sure they're getting loud as well. Alley drew contact. No whistle. Vandals go the other way. Up ahead, Kilgore. He lost it on the zip down low from Trevante Anderson. Ezekiel Alley pushing. Hangs and swatted by Pebble, the big man, getting it done on both ends. And all those Pebble plays are just energy in the gym as well. Obviously, they're benefits to the Vandals, but the crowd's getting going after that monster dunk and then off a block as well. Paris Dawson will come in for the first time tonight for Portland State. And yeah, you see the impact from Phillip Pebble Jr., especially defensively. We know one of the top blockers in the entire conference. You see that jam there. Squire with a crossover. He hangs and goes off the glass. Excellent finish there, like you mentioned, hanging in the air, waiting for the defender to fall back down and gets the finish. Back and forth we go over the last couple minutes here in this first half. King guarded by Hayden Curris, who just came in for the first time tonight for Portland State. Rashad Smith, step back, but gets called for the travel. And he can't believe it. Well, he had a highlight there trying to dance around the transfer out of Portland. Yeah, I'm not sure, but with the way the officials have been calling travels tonight, I think that, that probably falls in line with some of the other calls they've made. And now Portland State turns it over. You know, 20 combined turnovers between Idaho and Portland State. Granted, that's only the Vikings' fourth turnover of the night. But still, we've seen a whole lot of them here in this first half. Pebble regains himself, tried to flip it in. Battle for the rebound finally hauled in by Damian Squire. On the run, here's Marlon Ruffin. Throws up the floater, and he'll draw the foul. Obviously, Chase Coburn screaming for a continuation, wanting a three-point opportunity. Yeah, pretty clearly touched a couple yep. other people before it went back in here. So there's the shot, missed. Yeah, that's not, that's not a continuation at all. <laughs> I think maybe what Chase Coburn is arguing is you saw in that second effort, maybe he was saying Marlon Ruffin's left hand maybe touched it. I don't know. That's why I'm broadcasting the game. I'm not. I'm not officiating. I'm not coaching. So. And as Ruffin gets the first of two, Trevante Anderson quickly back on the floor for Idaho. And we mentioned before, Marlon Ruffin started the season in the starting lineup for Portland State. Recently, come off the bench and. Chase Coburn was telling me earlier today in our conversation, it's one of those things where, hey, you know what? Most players would be upset that they're now coming off the bench, but you look at the amount of scoring threats that Portland State has, and everybody knows their role, and they've embraced it, and that's exactly what Marlon Ruffin has done, embraced his role coming off the bench, and you see it right now in this game. He's having a tremendous night so far in this first half. Mikey Dixon hangs with the left, and Mikey Dixon... Finally, with his first points of the night. Squire. A nice move in the paint by the UC Davis transfer. Yeah, great patient move down there. Got a defender in the air and then takes advantage of it with a nice, easy finish. Mikey Dixon finds a wide open pebble. Another jam. Yeah, and you can see the Portland State defense looking a little frustrated with themselves on a switch on that one. Uh, can't leave that man open that close to the basket. Six points now for Phillip Pebble Jr. Ruffin, this time mid-range J. And Travante Anderson climbed the ladder to get playing their best basketball in the second half of the conference season. That's exactly what you want to see as these teams get ready to head down to Boise here next week. You want them to be playing their best basketball right now as everybody's got a shot once you get down there. And again, there is a possibility that these two teams could face each other once again next week in the conference tournament as 
Trevante Anderson is the first Vandal in double figures tonight. He's now got 13. And the Vandals with the lead once again, 33-32 under three to play here in the first. Here's Marlon Ruffin. He hangs in. He'll get more free throws. That's going to be the second foul on Rashad Smith. And Marlon Ruffin looking to become the first Viking in double figure scoring tonight. Right now with nine. The 78% free throw shooter can't knock down the first. And all knotted up once again. Anderson able to escape that pressure. Tried to blow right past the big man. Instead, wide open mid-range J from Dixon. Cleaned up by Pebble. Boy, the impact the big man has had on both ends of the floor so far has been impressive. Yeah, it's very strong on the offensive glass here so far tonight. And a uh, couple points to show for it. Now with eight in this ball game, Ezekiel Alley finds Ian Burke. Squire over Smith puts it in. Approaching two minutes to play here in the first. Portland stay with a one-point lead. Anderson behind the back move takes into the paint once again. Lost it, able to regain possession. Shot clock down to six. Here's Dixon dancing around Berg. Takes the contact, throws it up, can't get the bounce. Once again, Phillip Pebble Jr. Well, he almost had another offensive rebound, but Portland State goes the other way. And again, this is a Portland State team who is number one in the big sky in offensive rebounds per game. But Idaho worked in the offensive glass extremely well with those seven on the offensive end so far. And a lot of that's been Peppel, just really being active, really being aggressive there on the offensive glass. Dixon back out. Anderson for three, knocks it down. Trevante Anderson continuing a strong first half coming off that career best. 32 points against Northern Colorado, now up to 16. And again, there's that one-two game between Dixon and Anderson. Dixon maybe had a shot there, but kicked it out for a better one. Offensive foul. And as Yusef Salih able to step in and take the charge. My mind, Matt, that's his second charge so far tonight, really putting his body on the line for the Vandals here today. And Burke called for the foul. I think that's the right way of wording it there, Ben. So now about a 13-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Anderson dancing, pull up, off the heel. And now with about a second difference between shot clock and game clock, I imagine Portland State maybe will play six turnovers since that point. Yeah. You're exactly right. They've really cleaned it up offensively as we wind down this first half. There's Damian Squire with nine points so far for Portland State. A lot of balanced scoring for the Vikes so far. Iman hands it off to Ezekiel Alley. Pulls up off the mark into the hands of Jamil King. He'll have a chance. He'll throw it up. And so ready to roll here in the second half. Again, Idaho with a two-point lead. They trailed by as much as 10 in that first half. Were able to claw their way back to take the lead. And we've had seven lead changes in this game so far. And Travante Anderson tried to pick it off. And Ian Burke's going to get called for the foul, and Chase Coburn can't believe it. 
Yeah, kind of a loose ball situation there. Great effort from Anderson to get his hands on it and then uh, draw the foul. And looking at the rest of the stats so far for the Vandals, we talked about Philip Pebble Jr., Trevante Anderson leading the way with 16 points. Mikey Dixon being the leading scorer for Idaho, only two points on one of six shooting so far tonight. Looking for a bigger output here in these final 20 minutes. And here he is right on cue, trying to lob it down low instead. Has to give it back out to Travante Anderson. Shot clock under 10. Anderson the lob to Christensen, and he can't corral it. Yeah, that's a tough look there going through traffic, and uh, someone got a finger on that, I think. Thomas way too strong on that one. So Lee, he's been hot from downtown, but had that one blocked. Ian Burke tries to turn the corner. Instead, goes to Michael Carter the third, out to Khalid Thomas. Only with five points so far, coming off a career best 27 in the win against Idaho State. And Rashad Smith kind of went down for a second. Didn't see what exactly happened. Not sure. Looks like maybe did he get elbowed in a Looks like he place might we don't want to talk here. about? Yeah. yeah. Just need a second. Yeah. Elbowed in a sensitive area. We'll just leave it at that. Swire finally able to get it into Ezekiel Alley. He takes it inside, tries to draw contact, can't flip it in, gets his own miss, goes up for two, and we're tied up once again at 38. Yeah, real just great effort there, sticking with it getting his own rebound and putting it back up. And now Ezekiel Alley, the leading scorer tonight for Portland State with 11. Anderson tried to blow past Alley, and instead Alley will get whistled for the personal. And again, it's just Anderson being aggressive. As we saw in the first half, he's been able to get to the basket when he wants to, and uh, really taking advantage of that here so far in the second half as well. Shot clock at five. Dixon tries to turn the corner and he draws the foul. Two quick fouls on Ezekiel Alley. And a new 20 for Idaho. So now instead, Travante Anderson is going to inbound it. Anderson's got to get it in, and a five-second violation. Yeah, with, with as many turnovers as the Vandals have had here so far tonight, that one you just can't accept. Uh, as the Portland State defenses force you into some, you, you can't just be giving it away on those types of plays. Turnover number 17 tonight on the Vandals. Alley left wide open for three. Left that one short, and Trevante Anderson out and running. Throws it up, contact, offensive foul. Yeah, it looked like Anderson tried to sidestep there, but uh, solid work from Squire. They're just staying planted and, and drawing that charge. Yeah, you saw Squire just able to get his feet set and take the charge. And quickly, Phillip Pebble Jr. will come back in for Idaho. And again, it's been hot shooting so far for Idaho. 48% from the floor. 
63% from downtown for Idaho. And obviously not surprising from not only one of the best three-point shooting teams in the Big Sky, but also in the entire country as well. Looks like Khalid Thomas was maybe getting looked at over there on the sideline. Might have been a cut maybe on the elbow or something like that, but got it all cleaned up. Finally back to action. Thomas. And you got happy feet right there. Another Portland State turnover. Man, I think I've seen more travels here tonight than I've seen all season. I was trying to come up with a pun. There's a, there's a good pun there. Seen more travels than, I don't know. I'm not going to think about that right now. Travante Anderson had it blocked on the way up. And it's going to stay with Idaho. But, yeah, I, I can't remember the last time I've seen so many traveling violations in a single game. If only if that was a stat that we could keep track of. Off the inbound, here's Rashad Smith. As Khalid Thomas almost able to pick that off there. Mikey Dixon with five on the timer. Anderson the lob to Pebble. Count it and one. Phillip Pebble, have yourself a night. He'll get a chance for a three-point play. He has been a beast around the rim tonight. Yes, and <laughs> real aggressive move from Anderson throwing that lob into traffic, but Pebble able to get his hands on it, get the finish. Again, the nice lob there from Trevante Anderson. Double only a 44% free throw shooter and able to complete the three-point opportunity. Three-point Idaho lead. Three minutes gone by here in the second. Here's Ruffin, who had a very strong first half. Knocked out of bounds. And that's going to go back to Ida. Oh, as Marlon Ruffin. Can't believe that call. It looked like both guys got their hands on it on that play, but it's going to go the other way for the Vandals. And we'll get a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to keep it with Idaho. Yeah, just kind of got him stuck down there, took a little bit of a fall, and Portland State, able, Portland State able to jump on it and force the jump. And that's been a slow offensive start for both of these squads. Portland State, one of five. Wow, what a fly-through block there from Damian Squires. He comes up hobbling. Khalid Thomas going the other way, finds Marlon Ruffin. Reverse laying good. Boy, what a sequence there from the Vikings. And you look on the other end, Damian Squire, who had that big rejection, is down. Yeah, and obviously we hope he's all right. I didn't, I didn't see anything on that play, but. Well, after that block, not sure if he came down awkwardly. He's going to hobble all the way to the Portland State bench. He'll get a round of applause from the Idaho faithful. <laughs> and he got some air time there on that rejection. Good to see him walk off under his own power. Looks like it's just an ankle thing. Going to tighten up those laces. Hopefully we see him back in the game here shortly. Back to a one-point game. And we'll get a foul down low. That's going to be the third foul on Michael Starks. Anderson with the screen on Pebble, finds Mikey Dixon, and he'll get called for a travel. I need to start a tally over here. 
like I said before, I, I wish they kept track of travels in the stat monitor so we can just see how many there have been tonight. And off to starts. Michael Carter, the third, rises and connects from deep. And Portland State with the lead once again, 43-41. Dixon with the spin. He hangs and gets that one to drop. Really nice finish there from Dixon. You got to wonder if this is going to be the spark he needs to really get going for the Vandals. I was literally just about to ask you that. Is this going to be what gets him going? We'll find out. You beat me right to it. A huge mentor to the PSU head man, and obviously Adam's doing a great job in Lubbock as well. As we return to action here at ICCU Arena. as we'll get a foul on Idaho. That's going to be the second foul on Philip Pebble. The lob up top, Thomas with the throwdown. Right, taking a play out of the... Philip Peppel playbook on that one, going over the top. And here's what Portland State does best as Marlon Ruffin lays it in off the turnover. Yeah, it looked like that's going to be turnover number 20 on the night for the Vandals. Time their season high. Dixon takes it right inside the reverse. Almost got it to go, but he'll get free throws. Yeah, you, know, you mentioned those 20 turnovers as Portland State has been able to score 19 points off of those 20 turnovers. As Mikey Dixon will go to the charity stripe. And yeah, it's really taking advantage of the advantage of those uh, situations, getting going the other way and getting those easy buckets. And again, what an impact that Mikey Dixon, as well as his former teammate at Grand Canyon, Rashad Smith, have brought here to Moscow. And And you look at the production from those two guys. It was a great interview I listened to on the coaches show a couple months ago with Dixon. You know, originally wasn't in the plan for both of them to come to Idaho. It kind of just happened last minute after they both talked to Johnny Hill, who was previously at Grand Canyon, and then Dixon and Smith talked to each other and decided to make the trek up here. And again, having that connection has really helped between the two teammates at Grand Canyon and then the two teammates as well. Here in Moscow as Marlon Ruffin is left open from the corner and that one is short as Ian Burke is going to get called for over the back. Yeah, it looked like he got some hands on Dixon's back on that one uh, going up for the board. That's going to be the third on Burke. And that's already going to be the seventh team foul on Portland State. So not even six minutes into the second half, Idaho's already going to be shooting free throws. Yeah, that bodes well for the Vandals. They've been pretty successful from the line and uh, shooting free throws for the last 14 minutes here. Uh, let's see how that plays out. Yeah, as a team, 74% from the line, and we know how strong of a free throw shooter Mikey Dixon is. Second in the big sky at 87%. As Dixon goes two for two. Not only just shooting at a high percentage, we know how many times he can get to the foul line. One of the best at doing that in the big sky. Ethan Kilgore back on the floor for the Vandals. Michael Carter, the third left open again for three. This time can't connect. And a foul on the Vandals. Tanner Christensen whistled for the personal. You know, fortunately, only two for Christensen as he's uh, Pebbles given some good minutes tonight, able to give Christensen some breaks. A 
And again, back and forth we go. Eight lead changes, five ties in this one. Who else? Marlon Ruffin again, slashing inside for two. Yeah, he's really put together a, an exceptional performance here tonight. Again, a tremendous get for Portland State. Jameel King skip pass to Kilgore as Idaho will reset the offense. Dixon, step back three over Ruffin. And Kilgore not able to get that offensive board. But again, going back to Ruffin, we mentioned it before, the sixth man of the year in the Summit League. Spending two seasons at Omaha where he, he led the team in scoring at 13 points per game. One of the many players on this Portland State team who can really produce offensively. Thomas tried to lob it down low and said back out to Michael Starks. Here's Ruffin. Carter the third. Trying to back down. Zips it inside to Thomas. And another foul on Idaho. And that's going to be the sixth team foul on the Vandals. So Portland State already with seven team fouls. Idaho already with six. And we're not even seven minutes into the second half. Might be seeing a lot of free throws here. Tonight. I was going to say, this game could slow down quite a bit in these final 13 minutes. We'd have and to say that plays into the hand of the Vandals, right? Right. There's team foul number seven. So now the Vikings will be shooting free throws. It'll be Michael Carter, the third, shooting one and one. 75% free throw shooter. And again, Portland State, as well as Idaho, both pretty good at the charity stripe. Idaho at 74%, Portland State at 75. As Carter, the third, goes one of two. Rashad Smith dancing around Starks, the kick out. Kilgore down low to Christensen. Dixon, the hesitation, throws it up. Can't get it to go off the back tap into the hands of Jameel King. Good effort there from Christensen. Keep that ball alive. Here's the big man going to work on the block. Spins, and Michael Carter the third flies in for that swat. He seemed to just hang in the air on that one. We've seen a couple Viking guards really just take off for a couple blocks in this one so far. Shot clock at 10. Dixon inside, throws it up with the right, rounding out. Part of the third off the pump fake, and he'll get free throws as Rashad Smith gets called for the foul. That's tough. Looks like that's going to be four on Smith. Yep. He's going to probably get an extended break here. Yusef Salee will come in for him. And Michael Carter III will go right back to the charity stripe. Like we mentioned a second ago, over 12 minutes to play in the second half, and both teams already in the bonus. The pace of this game is probably going to slow down to a crawl as he goes two for two. And Carter the third almost forced a turnover there, but it will stay with the Vandals. Another foul on Portland State, so that means free throws for Idaho. 
And that was an interesting play there. Looked like Anderson just kind of bull rushed on Carter on that play and able to draw the foul. So Travante Anderson leading the way with 16 for Idaho. Five of 10 from the floor is a perfect five of five from the free throw line tonight. That's going to be the third foul, by the way, on Michael Cardo, the third. It looked like a, what are we looking at here? Five Vikings with three fouls here with 12 minutes to play. Yeah, Ian Burke, Khalid Thomas, Ezekiel Alley, Michael Carter, the third, and Michael Starks, all with three fouls each for Portland State. Alley with under 12 minutes to play. Floats it up and gets it to drop. And yeah, nice touch there inside. Able to help these Vikings continue to expand. Five point Portland State lead. Again, trying to secure their eighth win in the last 10 games. Crossover by King. Middle offense to really spread out and really get some good looks. And Jamil King knocks down the three point play. Two point game here in Moscow. Here's Marlon Ruffin who leads the way for the Vikings right now as Damian Squire couldn't save it from going out of bounds. And that is the eighth turnover on the Vikings. Here's King. Trying to keep his handles, does try to fire a bullet inside to Phillip Pebble Jr. And it will go the other way. Yeah, a little too much effort on that one. Uh, if you're trying to drop it down low to the big man from, from five feet away. Again, you look at the rebound differential right now. Idaho, how about that? 31-16 against Portland State, a team that averages just under 36 rebounds per game. And it's really been done as a team. Uh, Javante Anderson leading the way, and he's one of the shorter guys on the court. We know how strong of a rebounder he is, and we know how strong of a big man in the blocks department Phillip Pebble Jr. is. Another rejection, the second of the night. Anderson trying to dance around Iman, and he'll get two. Yeah, I could see he was trying to get back to Peppel on that one with the mismatch on the switch, but uh, able to just take it himself and get to the line. And more free throws coming for Travante Anderson. A perfect seven of seven from the strike tonight. There's the broadcaster's jinx. I had to say it. Now seven of eight. As he goes one of two. Thomas with the left, and he'll get a chance for a three-point play. It's been a quiet night so far for Khalid Thomas, but if you're Chase Coburn, you're hoping that's what gets him going tonight for the defending Big Sky Player of the Week. Yeah, and this time down the court, we saw Portland State taking advantage of that mismatch. And Thomas able to complete that three-point play. Back to a four-point Portland State lead. Yeah. 
Here's Ethan Kilgore trying to blow past Thomas, takes it baseline. Salid with 10 on the timer. Down to five. King, the crossover. Nice fake, throws it up. Can't get it to go off the heel. Yeah, nice move late in that possession to get that shot up. I just couldn't make it fall. Dawson. And they're going to count that one. It'll be another chance at a three-point play, this time for Paris Dawson. As Ali tried to get in there again, tried to draw his third charge of the game, but fortunately they didn't get set, or it might have been inside the restricted, restricted zone there. So the freshman will get a chance to complete his own three-point play. Now a six-point Portland State lead here in the second. As Anderson gets bumped by Starks. That's going to be number four on the Georgia transfer. You know, as deep as this bench is for Portland State, like we mentioned, they are starting to get into a bit of a bit of trouble here. Nine minutes to play. Uh, they're going to have to make some changes this rotation. You know, definitely dealing with foul trouble now here in the second half. Again, Starks now with four. Ezekiel Alley also with four. As Anderson is short on the first free throw. This is both. Carter the third dancing, had it stripped. Here comes Mikey Dixon the other way for Idaho. He crosses over the spin. Had that one sent back by a pair of Vikings and Paris Dawson. He sprints the other way to lead Thomas back to Dawson. Now the Vikings will reset the offense. Down low to Michael Carter the third on the block against Salih. And an offensive foul on Carter the third. And now that's going to be his fourth. Nice work from Salih right there. Just stood his ground, stayed strong, got his hands back. Uh, able to draw a third charge. So Michael Starks back on the floor with those four fouls for Portland State. Just over eight and a half to play here in regulation in Moscow. Six point Portland State lead, Idaho trying to come back like they've done a couple times this season. Wide open, Tanner Christensen off the feed from Trevante Anderson. I think he was about as surprised as we were to be that open on that play. Turn, look the hoop, no one there, goes up for the finish. Here's Khalid Thomas, he's got the mismatch. Thought about the step back, instead falls away. And Trevante Anderson coming down with another rebound. Number nine tonight for the guard. King transition three. There's Starks pushing the sidestep, wild shot. Christensen climbs the ladder to get that board. And Thomas, one of the best players in the big sky and steals, takes it away, finds Ian Burke. High off the window, no good. And finally, a little bit of pace as Dixon out in front of the pack. Yeah, especially, like I said, Carter the third and Ezekiel Alley with Alley averaging 18 points per game over the last eight. Michael Carter the third averaging 14 points per game over the last five contests. So you see Michael Starks on the floor right now. Alley and Carter the third on the bench for Portland. Here, he's more capable of dishing it out when he needs to, but then finishing when he can. Jacob Iman goes one of two from the stripe. A three-point Portland State lead over seven minutes to play. Here in regulation, Idaho trying to secure their fourth straight home W as Anderson is going to get a chance to add on to that total with those 19 with a couple more free throws. And Michael Starks draws the foul, and that's number five. 
So he's done for the night. And you see him right there saying he got both hands up. But obviously whistled for his fifth, and he'll take a seat. And speaking of foul trouble, here comes Michael Carter the third. He also has four fouls in this one so far. So again, Portland State continuing to deal with foul trouble to a couple of key contributors. For the Vandals, I'd like to see them go at it. Go at Carter here next possession. See if you can get him his fifth as well. As Anderson makes it a one-point game. Marlon Ruffin. He draws contact, and he'll get two. Yeah, Christensen looked a little disappointed in that call. Thought he got all ball. Uh, but anytime you, the big stick in his hands in there like that, it's going to be an easy call for the official. And speaking of players who are leading the way tonight, that's exactly what Marlon Ruffin is doing. For Portland State off the bench, 16 points. Also four of six from the free throw line tonight. He's short on the first. And as Ruffin misses both. And the Vandal faithful just explode with those two missed free throws. Vandal fans pretty excited. Get a little, get a little gift out of that free chicken sandwich coming their way. Anderson over Iman buries that jump shot. And Idaho back on top, up by one. The lead Thomas guarded by Anderson. Poked away by King. King on the run, the spin move. Finds Pebble with the throwdown. Philip Pebble abusing the wins. And really, for both Idaho and Portland State, we've seen some good performances off the bench tonight. And this is the largest lead of the night. Michael Carter to the three. And there's Pebble once again, just snatching that rebound away. Yeah, just using his strength, like you mentioned, they're just taking it right out of the hands uh, of Iman on that play. There's Travante Anderson with 23 points. Mikey Dixon turns the corner on Alley, swatted away by Jacob Iman. Up ahead to Ian Burke. Salih trying to catch them, but Ian Burke wins that race. Back to a one-point game. And that's the Vikings do what they do best and really just getting out and getting going. Um, off the block. Now they have forced 22 turnovers tonight against Idaho. Mikey Dixon again goes right at uh, Eamon, or Iman, I should say. And once again, Philip Pebble. New career high for the big man. Yeah, have a night, big man. 15 points. Iman skip pass, almost picked off. The ball's into the hands of Alley, down low. Carter, the third, soars to the rack. Once again, both teams trading buckets with under four and a half to play. Anderson. Dancing along Alley, around Alley, I should say, and Javante Anderson begging for a foul. Alley had that look in his eyes. He wanted to fire it up from deep. Four minutes to go. Shot clock at seven. Alley high off the window. 
And Portland State retakes the lead. A yeah, real aggressive take there from Alley. Got into the body of Anderson there and able to get that shot in. Ten lead changes tonight between Idaho and Portland State. A good one here in Moscow. Mikey Dixon. The kick out to King. Turns the corner. Hangs. Who else? There to clean it up. 15 points now adding to his career high. Just having an exceptional evening for Philip Peppel. Like you mentioned before, that guy that brings a lot of energy off the bench. Boy, bringing energy off the pine tonight is kind of an understatement when you talk about Philip Pebble Jr., Khalid Thomas, the defending Big Sky Player of the Week, answers as he goes off the glass. Thomas now at 12. Dixon takes it into the paint. Trevante Anderson for three. Off the front iron, and Ezekiel Alley up ahead. Michael Carter the third. And Portland State back to a three-point lead. Yeah, that's a lapse that the Vandals can't afford right now. Obviously, that's what the Vikings are looking for. That's what they're always looking for. Teen in the conference. But right now, Idaho trails by three, under two and a half to play. Game that has featured 12 lead changes tonight. Anderson trying to maze his way through, throws it up way short, and Jacob Iman able to rip away that board. Got a little stuck underneath the basket on that one. Didn't look like he had much of an angle there. Michael Carter, the third, takes it inside, hangs, can't get the bounce, and Rashad Smith. He'll get bumped, and a foul called on Michael Carter, the third, and that's number five. So Michael Carter the third, done for the night with 11 points. So that makes two Vikings who have now fouled out tonight. And now Rashad Smith will go to the line for two. And Coach Coburn calling his team over. They didn't really know what was going on there. So you get a you get a couple seconds here on a foul out to talk to your guys, but look like they may have wasted most of that. Looks like Marlon Ruffin is going to come back in for Portland State. The leading score for the Vikings tonight with 16. Ezekiel Alley not that far behind with 15. And here's Rashad Smith at the charity stripe. 70% on the year. Trying to cut into this deficit. As he misses both. Two critical misses there with two minutes to go. Thomas. And it will stay with the Vikings. You know, I know it's their game to get moving like that, but interesting with the Vikings keeping that pace up here with under two minutes to play with the lead. Yeah, Chase Coburn and company look like they're not going to back away, back away, I should say, from... What they do best, and that's take it inside. Not a strong three-point shooting team. That's, a, that's why they rely heavily with getting in the paint. Shot clock under 10, Ezekiel Alley. Ian Burke, Khalid Thomas for three. Jacob Iman able to keep it alive into the hands of Ian Burke. Goes up with the left and lays it in. Big offensive rebound there by Jacob Iman to make it a two-possession game. A nice finish inside there from Burke as well. Under 80 ticks left. And we'll get a foul before the shot. But either way, two free throws coming up for Mikey Dixon. And obviously this is the guy you want to see on the line if you're the Vandals. Again, the second best free throw shooter in the conference at 87%. Boy, free throw shooting continues to hurt the Vandals in the last couple minutes. That was Mikey Dixon's first miss at the line tonight. Yeah, you can hear Coburn from the side telling him, run clock, run clock. 
Lee Thomas against Rashad Smith, a matchup of two former Big Sky Players of the Week, and it's the most recent honoree who takes it inside right on Smith and lays it in with under a minute to go and gives the Vikings a six-point lead. Mikey Dixon and swatted away by Jacob Iman, and it will go back to the Vikings with 50.3 ticks left. Yeah, unfortunate for the Vandals there after the block. Dixon just kind of falling out of bounds. Ball hits off his head. Yep, saw it right there. With it being a six-point game, if you're Idaho, you got to start fouling pretty quickly here, and that's what they'll do as Jamil King is going to foul Paris Dawson. Yeah, I like that move there. You had a couple seconds to play with, try to see if you can force something, but once they get across half court, you got to start taking those fouls quickly. And that will send Paris Dawson to the line 0 for 1 from the strike tonight. As he increases Portland State's lead. And now an eight-point Portland State lead. Rashad Smith, quick triple on the way, off the back rim. And Travante Anderson able to corral it. He'll fire a three. Too strong. Out of back. Anderson will inbound. He'll fire the three over Burke, and that one way too strong. Thomas up ahead to Burke. Marlon Ruffin, count it, and one. And that will be the dagger as Marlon Ruffin continues his strong night off the bench. He'll get a chance for a three-point play in the Vikings, matching their largest lead of the night at 10. Eighteen points for Marlon Ruffin. And now 19 with 19.3 seconds left. As the Portland State Vikings. As Ali fires that one off the mark. Thomas rips away the board, and the Vikings are now going to win their eighth game in the last ten games for Portland State as their second half surge continues.